Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So Warner Brothers and DC are totally doing the thing. They're making a Booster Gold Blue Beetle movie. They didn't announce a date, but they did confirm that Greg Berlanti was going to be directing. That's the only person that they've announced. They haven't announced who's writing it yet. Most of you probably know who Greg Berlanti is. You know, he's the guy behind The Flash, Arrow, pretty much most of the DC TV universe with a few exceptions. If you're not a comic book reader and you're confused as to why everyone's freaking out about this, I mean, obviously it's a new DC movie. It's going to be canon with the Batman v Superman universe. So, that I mean, that's a big deal. But Booster Gold and Blue Beetle are like the best buddy cop team in the comic book universe for DC. They're like DC's Bert and Ernie, and a whole lot more than that if you go to some of the darker places on Tumblr. Just, just beware when you search for stuff. There's some really questionable fan art out there. Oh wait, no, this was actually in a comic book. This is actually something that they did for real. But you get the idea. Booster Gold, Blue Beetle, awesome comedy movie in the making. Now everybody kind of understands what was going on whenever Andrew Kreisberg from The Flash said that DC and Warner Brothers wouldn't let them use Ted Kord for Arrow. They actually, they wanted Brandon Routh's Adam character to be the Ted Kord Blue Beetle. They'd been teasing him since season one, so they're going to be like, okay, finally, here he is, Ted Kord, bam. But they said when they were pitching Arrow season three to the network, they were like, nope, sorry, we have other plans for that character. Turns out they wanted to use him for a movie. The only other really big rumor I've heard about it is that the writer that they're looking at might be Zach Penn. Now he's had a long history with the X-Men franchise as well as a partial treatment on Avengers, one of the Transformer movies, and the Ready Player One movie that Steven Spielberg is directing. He gets a lot of criticism, but I do have a lot of faith in the Berlanti people. They, they do TV really, really well, and I think as long as Warner Brothers doesn't mess with the film too much, it should be pretty awesome. It's, it's going to be one of those mid-budget films between big Batman v Superman films. It's the exact same thing that Star Wars is doing with their film universe. You know, you have like the episode 7, 8, 9. Between those, you have the spin-off films. What about actors? Okay, so everybody's wondering who they're going to cast for this film. Well, typically they tend to cast younger. I know everybody is like, hey, Nathan Fillion said he wanted to play Booster Gold. I don't think that's going to happen. Now, he does do a ton of stuff with Warner Brothers animation, and he appeared as a creature in Guardians of the Galaxy, so I, I totally think that Nathan Fillion can be involved with the film. I just don't think that he's going to be one of the lead stars. They want like 20-somethings, not 40-somethings. Think 21 Jump Street, which is actually funny because Lord and Miller are actually writing the Flash movie. I know a lot of people are wondering about that too. I, I haven't done a lot of Flash movie videos just because there's really nothing going on with it right now. I saw one of you guys ask me this morning if they had actually bailed on the Flash movie because they'd signed on to the Han Solo movie. I couldn't find any evidence to support that online, so un until we get more information, I'm just assuming they're doing both the Flash and Han Solo. What I think is happening is that they're just writing the Flash movie and they're directing the Han Solo movie. Like, they're not directing the Flash movie. That would probably make it hard for them to do both films if they were writing and directing both films, but that's not the case. The job of the director and the producers is typically the most demanding. So, like, if you're a producer and a director on a film, you're going to be living with it for about four years. But if you're just a writer, then you might only be working on a film for a fraction of that. So everybody freak out about how awesome this is. I, I'm just so excited the potential for a Booster Gold Blue Beetle movie. I know a lot of you are wondering, you know, like, what's the deal? Because they didn't announce this movie whenever they announced their big film slate. So if you remember earlier this year, Marvel did their big phase three announcement where they're like, here are all the movies that we're going to be doing for the next billion years. And then a couple weeks later, Warner Brothers is like, hey, look, we have 10 DC films too. The thing is, though, is that some of those movie titles have changed. Like originally, there was a Green Lantern Flash crossover movie, not happening now. There's going to be a Green Lanterns movie, isn't like Green Lantern core, and then there's going to be a Flash movie separately. They also had not originally planned for a new Batman standalone trilogy. Ben Affleck had just been signed to play Batman in the Justice League team-up movies. It's a little bit more complicated than that, obviously. You know, part of the reason I think that Ben Affleck signed on was because DC and Warner Brothers were like, hey, we'll let you write and direct some of these Batman films. So I think part of what attracted him to the DC universe was the idea that he'd be able to do that. Speaking of which, Batman's standalone trilogy. Don't forget, Jeff Johns is actually co-writing the first film. Really what I'd like to see is Jeff Johns get like sole credit on writing a comic book film. I, th I think he's long overdue. He's one of the best writers that DC has. If you guys haven't been reading Dark Side War, you need to check it out. Even though he hasn't gotten a whole lot of credit for a lot of like the big DC movies that have come out the past couple of years, I think of him as like a shadow writer. Like the guy who sits in the room and helps them create these film characters. Just to get you guys ready though, here's a couple recommends for Booster Gold Blue Beetle stories from the comics. Starting with Time Masters, Vanishing Point. Very important for Legends of Tomorrow too. So this, this involves Rip Hunter, Booster Gold, Blue Beetle, trying to go back in time and find Batman after Final Crisis. 
Probably one of the best ones in recent memory is Booster Gold Future Zen number one. He became this really big character as DC started to reboot its universe. Another really cool story that involves the Time Masters. And then if you're looking for like the sillier Booster Gold Blue Beetle relationship, you could do 52 pickup blue and gold. That's a bit more of a deep cut, but it does a really good job of showing off some of the different portrayals of Booster Gold. Most of the time when you think about him, you think of this lovable douchebag character, but during the blue and gold run, they tease the idea that Booster Gold only acts like a douchebag to throw his enemies off so that they underestimate him. So what a coincidence that I spent all that time talking about the Time Masters. Doctor Who Series 9 premieres tomorrow. It's a Saturday night show. It airs on the BBC and BBC America, depending on where you live. If you're not familiar with it, I've already done a couple guides, so I'll put links in the description. But they just announced that Clara, the current companion, is leaving at the end of the year. Jenna Coleman is leaving Doctor Who. So I'm trying to start the hype train so that Maisie Williams will sign on and be the new companion for Series 10. So please help me roll the hype train. I'll totally do a video later today just explaining what's going on with that. While you guys wait for all that stuff to drop though, you can click here for all the latest Arrow and Flash trailers. That's coming in a couple weeks. And you can click here to learn about what's going on with Batman v Superman. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.